Hi guys, uh, welcome to another video. In this video, I am going to show you how to add the test steps in the test case. So in the previous video, we have seen uh, how to add the test description as well as uh, severity. Uh, how we can change by default, it will be normal and how you can change the severity and uh, how you can add the uh, description using some of the annotations from the earlier report. You can see we have used this annotation at the rate description to add the description and at the rate severity to add the severity level. Now in this uh, um, video, I will show you how to add the test step. For that purpose, I am taking these test cases or products page test cases. Uh, now I will use another annotation at the rate test. Uh, I, I, I am not going to add at the rate step uh, annotation for uh, all the okay now um, all the steps because it takes so much time so this uh, this method is about entering the user credentials i will write the same thing entering the user initials and next one is clicking on the login button just copy it And this is clicking login button. Okay, and let me add few more and product title for this method also. Then I add step. getting product title okay and then yeah yeah card title and this uh, annotation is from the earlier report so please do remember that so getting card Right. This is another step. Okay, so test case one is completed. Login button. Now this one. Add items to cart. Let me add another step here. Add items to cart. Okay, and then yeah, this one. The red step. Checking items of cart and this one step getting items. Okay, and uh, yeah, this one, this will be the last one, I think. Okay, at the red step, adding multiple products. Okay, so we are almost done. Now, I want to execute, but I don't want to execute uh, all the test cases because I will comment because I added the steps to all the product page tests only. Remaining, I will comment. Okay, now I execute. Let us see how it goes. Test case execution completed. Let us open the report once again. Okay. 
now which test case we executed we executed products test case now you can see right there is even though we added the at the red step annotation and gave the some description we cannot see we could not see the body body of the test case that is test steps the reason is i'll tell you i'll show you here i'll do a report go to the documentation here you can see right there are multiple testing frameworks that are supported by earlier report here they did not give um, testing annotations so we are going with the junit5 because junit5 and test units are almost similar so i want to view that documentation but here you can see right uh, in the this page uh, the, under test body you can the steps here but we are not getting the steps in our report the reason is if you look at this one how to start look at this one set up aspect aspect j for at the rate test annotation and at the rate attachment annotations support so to support the at the rate step annotation we need this dependency aspect j to be added to our pom.xml then only our steps will be added so uh, this is the uh this is a uh, key metal your bomb uh we don't need this dependency manager to correct version of all the, okay that is fine so now we have to instead of uh, allure uh, we are working with the uh, test ng so instead of allure i find j in it file we, uh, we have to use allure test ng which we added in our first video itself you can see here allure test ng yeah allure uh, test ng annotation we already added so what next next we have to use aspect j and on where we have to add we have to add under the maven sore file plugin okay now we have to get this one copy this one config let me see our uh, sore file plugin is there right yeah so under uh, under configuration we have to add let me remove this one for time being to make it simple for you i will keep it somewhere okay okay we are good now copy that one and one more time so under configuration we have to add this arguments line copy this add under the configuration itself okay we are we have added and next one is the dependency copy this one under the maven sore file plugin only we have to add this dependency as well this is outside configuration yeah in the same plugin i add it now just copy this and go to our maven repository search for this as like j want to take the latest version so let me take this one okay i don't want everything i want only this version only okay now I'll go to the properties here i will say aspect
okay i added it just go back and check so we have added the aspect j version okay we have added it okay now we are good to go we have added this java agent and as well as the aspect j waiver uh, dependency in order to work with the at the rate step annotation also there is another annotation at the rate attachment also currently we are not using it but uh, in maybe in future videos i try to cover it this yes, i am refreshing the maven project yes that is done now now here in order to execute the some of the test cases right some of the test cases from the pom.xml we have to use this test engine.xml under the surefire plugin okay i have mentioned which uh, test engine.xml to be executed here we have we have mentioned which test cases to be executed in the test engine.xml now we are good to go go to the terminal run this command mvn clean test now it picks the test cases from the test engine.xml whatever they mentioned they will be executed currently we are executing only product page test cases because for the uh, methods only we have added the at the rate step annotation let us see so in this uh, report we did not see any uh, steps now we will see uh, yeah no more test case i think yeah you can see the test cases are all test cases are passed now go to terminal control c y and again generate it okay report is generated so go to the products and here you go here you go you can see initializing the browser and this is coming for uh, everywhere i need to check why it is but uh, you can see that adding item to the cart uh, checking the item and getting uh, items count so the test body is coming here very nicely okay one second let me check this one why we are getting this again and again okay so since we have added to the uh, we don't need to add it okay let me rerun this That is uh, the browser initialization, right? Uh, uh, for each and every precondition, like uh, before method step, it is adding it, adding that. Yeah, execution is completed. I think uh, this time you may not see the changes if I am correct. Let us see. Yeah, now you can see. I'm wrong, but uh, you can see the step steps which we are added for the each and every test cases. Also, you can see for each and every day of the method, it is showing which argument it has taken to execute it. Okay. Yeah. This is how we add test cases, I mean, test steps to our test cases in the report. So, so far we covered how to generate the report, how to add a screenshot when the test case is failed. Also, now uh, the previous video, we have seen how to add the test description uh, like this and uh, CBRT, how to update the CBRT by default, it is normal. Now, 
the steps test steps so we are almost done with the series and uh, i'll see if anything interesting to to uh, you know uh, with respect to earlier report i'll make a video on those well those as well thank you thank you for watching